Hi, my name is Peter McCrory. I'm the Associate Dean for International Affairs at St George's in the University of London. We're now entering a partnership with the University of Nicosia, which is Cyprus's uh, biggest private uh, university. And at the end of that programme, you will also get a St George's medical degree. The programme we've designed is innovative in the sense that we use problem-based learning, which is a great way to learn uh, your basic sciences and your ethics and your sociology, all through uh, clinical problems. We have communication skills teaching as well, which we consider very important, as do the patients who actually are going to be uh, treated by you eventually. At the cornerstone of the program is problem-based learning, an incredible method to gain knowledge and understanding about topics that could potentially be quite convoluted. We develop communication skills, teamwork skills, problem-solving skills. As physicians, we're going to have to be lifelong learners, and this program is moulding us from the very start. My name's Chad. I'm the laboratory associate here at the medical school. Part of my responsibilities here at the medical school include dissection, and setting up the clinical skills sessions. Our spacious anatomy lab and clinical facilities are ideal for studying medicine because we teach with the best medical mannequins, models, and equipment. This allows our students to study medicine in a very realistic environment from expert medical professionals. What drew me to this program was that it combined the excellence of St. George's University of London with the rich culture, the beauty, and the friendliness of Cyprus. The faculty and staff here, they are very open, they are very willing to help us, uh, very hospitable. And the physicians here really go beyond their way to help us out, whether it is giving us additional information or letting us follow them around and help them out with their practice. So coming from my neck of the woods, the opportunity to study in St. George's um, while living in the Mediterranean was one I couldn't pass up. From the very beginning, we were immersed in medical life. In our first week, we took a patient history, we did clinical examinations on a patient, and we had our first experience of a cadaver. This was made possible by the state-of-the-art equipment that's available in the university. There are many reasons why I applied to the medical programme here at St George's University of London, here at the University of Nicosia. I get to graduate with a UK primary qualification, uh, which allows me to apply for the Foundation Year One programme in the UK. We get to be taught by some of the world's leading clinicians in their field, uh, which is obviously very inspiring. Uh, we get the opportunity to do our clinical placements in some of the world's most advanced medical centres. These include centres in the United States of America, in Israel and in Europe. And it's a finally a great feeling to be doing something that really means a lot to me. We have uh, early clinical exposure, which means that after even three days, you're actually meeting patients and talking to them and examining them, taking histories from them. Aradeon Hospital is a new medical facility with high-tech equipment and highly trained and motivated medical and ancillary staff. Not only at the medical school itself, but here at Aradeon, our students have spent a lot of time being taught at the bedside in our laboratories and examining our patients so that they can understand firsthand what real medical practice is about. St George's Medical School is recognised for excellence in medical education. They received a score of 23 out of 24 in the UK's Quality Assurance Agency's Inspection of Medicine. It was the highest score for any London medical school. The St George's Medical students in Cyprus benefit from state-of-the-art facilities and resources and have access to electronic learning resources available to all St George's medical students, whether in London or Nicosia. Our innovative, student-centered and systems-based curriculum integrates clinical and scientific aspects from the outset, promotes collaborative and contextual learning, critical thinking and reflection, skills that are essential for a career in medicine. We look forward to welcoming you to Nicosia and the St George's Medical Programme.